Hi guys, Steve Mizar here, more than just a pen. Today's video, we are going to be talking about the most underrated way to improve your ballpoint pen drawing skills that I believe. Some of you might disagree, but this is personally what I believe uh, is the best way for you to develop your ballpoint pen drawing skills. Uh, mainly focus on the black ballpoint pen because I have stressed this multiple videos that in order to develop your ballpoint pen drawing skills in general, you have to master the black ballpoint pen. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. And uh, let's get right into it. Let's go. So today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the most underrated way to improve your ballpoint pen drawing skills. Well, your understanding of the ballpoint pen. And the best way to practice this, I personally believe is by sketching. Sketching is a great way for you to understand this tool called a ballpoint pen. If you practice with it, practice with it, and practice with it, you will understand ways to control it and ways to use it whilst creating a realistic drawing. And the best way I've seen myself develop is by doing sketches. And yeah, let's get into this. I'm telling you, I'm sketch an image of Predator. It's got a lot of like dots values so shadows and a lot and a few highlights and yeah it's gonna be a black and white drawing so that way you can master this tool the black ballpoint pen and i feel like when you master this tool is it will help you tre tre tremendously like mastering the ballpoint pen will help you in the long run especially the black one because this is probably the most difficult one to get because once you understand how to control this, how to get the light to dark values with just this tool, it's very easy to transfer that over into colors. And yeah, I spent the first five, six years of my drawing career, maybe longer, just using the black ballpoint pen. I didn't understand, I didn't even know there was color ballpoint pens out there. So that's probably why I'm so good with them, understanding how much pressure I need to add, how many layers I need to do. It's because of this, I, I decided to understand this first, the black ballpoint pen, and then to get into my drawings. But yeah, let's get into this. First thing we're gonna do is just gonna sketch out some things. And when you do light, light lines like this, which not many ink tools can do, they, they will disappear once you're doing your drawing. So what we want to start with, let's talk about, um, I think the first thing we need to talk about is understanding that with this tool, when you're, when you're sketching, it's a good way for you to understand like how much pressure you need to add, like is it, is it too much, is it too little, all this stuff you can learn when you're sketching and how to cross hatch, like how close the lines need to be together, how far apart they need to be things like that, you learn a lot from sketching and I'm not even joking, it's so underrated, a lot of people are like, I don't sketch, it just looks scruffy and it just looks, it looks like a sketch, but you can pick up so much from the sketch while when you're doing it, you can be like, okay, so I know that when I press too hard and just draw it all one time without creating layers, it looks rubbish, it looks like crap, so you, you know that already and that you know not to do when you're doing like a full on realistic drawing you know not to apply that over and the only way you've known how to do that is because you started sketching um, if you didn't sketch you wouldn't have known that, that that doesn't work so sketching is a great way just to try out things and experiment that's another thing it's a good way to experiment and just try out different things a lot of the colors you guys see me using in my drawings are like how did you blend that color i found that out by sketching just trying out different things with the pen seeing what works and i've seen i'm sure you guys have seen a couple of my like new drawings where i'm always like um like i'm gonna mix all the colors together and see how they function that's normally what i'll do when i'm like buy a new pack of pens i'm always like i'm gonna test it all out to see how the pens function and the way they work together and that's all by doing sketches that's why I normally do, I normally do a sketch where I'm just messing around, 
seeing what works and always try to choose like a difficult image where I know that I have to use all the colors in order to create like different tones as well and um, sometimes I choose an image which has a lot of shadows so that way I have to create a lot of darker tones and with that you understand how to create this darker tone you understand that you have to create layers in order to get the smoothness of a darker tone but if you try to do it all in one go it looks bad and this is all from sketching so it's a good way to understand and try to come up with like different colors see what colors will blend well together again another thing with sketching is that it's not serious you know you know that if you make a mistake eh, so be it it's sketching we're just here to sketch and understand the tool that we're using understand the pressures and the the, the, the layers that we need to apply and what we see a lot of stuff is supposed to be quick but making mistakes is a part of the game at the end of the day some of you are probably thinking wait what Musa I don't want to make mistakes that's not that's not why I'm here I don't want to make mistakes I want to learn how not to make mistakes then sketch wait, wait what but you just said you make mistakes when you sketch exactly and the best way to learn is from your mistakes if you're not making mistakes how are you supposed to learn you know what I mean? And if you're not doing, how are you supposed to learn? You're supposed to do. And that's why sketching, like when I do Inktober, that's when I see how much I've learned when it comes to like ballpoint pen and just drawing in general. From day one to day 31, um, my ballpoint pen skills improve like crazy. Because the first day, you know what I mean? It's like, okay. How am I gonna draw like something quickly in like three hours and try and make it look good? It comes out okay, of course, it comes out pretty decent. But when you get to day 30, the same amount of time, just the, the skill levels is ridiculous. Like the amount of you just know how to bend, blend colors better, you just know how to control things better. It just, you just become that over the 30 days of creating an ink drawing and sketching all that time you really do improve quite a bit by just understanding the tool even more and it's because you spent all these days just every day waking up and you remember things you remember that, okay yesterday i did this that didn't really work well so i'm gonna try and avoid that today and move on to something else and then you'll be like okay i did this yesterday and that worked like really well like, it just came out sick it looks crazy so you're like okay i know how to, I, I know what i did there I blended this color and this color and things like that. It's just, just little things that when you, when you add all these little things together, it means so much. It, it can do so much for you. So as you can see right now, I'm just sketching away. Literally, I'm looking at the image for like three seconds and anything I see, I just apply it. I don't matter. It doesn't matter if I'm getting it 100% accurate. It's just that I'm just going to transfer everything I see on the image onto my paper. And then after that, I can take it from there. But yeah, it's also a good way if you're gonna become quicker at drawing. Like, like I class, like I class myself. I love, I class myself as a sketchism, sketchism artist, <laughs> which is not even a word. I made out myself because that's how I see myself as an artist. Because a lot of my drawings, they don't take crazy hours. You know, I know a lot of open pen artists that draw like A5 paper that can spend like 50 hours on a drawing me nope that's not for me so looking at my image as well look see things like these lines you can use these lines in order to understand where you have to stop but yeah this is good practice so obviously now you see me actually drew the line when i'm actually doing a realistic drawing i know not to obviously draw the line but i can do this with my hand you know like this and understand that it stops here this is where the bend happens. So you use your invisible lines when you go to realistic drawing. But when you're sketching, you can actually apply these lines in your drawing. Because again, it's just a sketch and you're not meant to take it seriously. But little little things like that go very underrated. A lot of people don't really, they do it, but it's just like, ah, it doesn't really mean much. They forget it when they start doing a realistic drawing because it's all about go get everything right. Everything's got to be in place. But when you're sketching, you can use all these little things that you learn when you're sketching in order to apply it to your drawing. 
and you're doing a realistic one sketching is not just there to be a waste of time you know just to do something when you're when you're bored and if you're bored yeah i advise you to sketch but i'm just saying it's not just there to you can apply a lot of the stuff you do when you're sketching into your realistic drawings in order to become a better i'm just say artist yeah so things like that little lines and understanding where things are supposed to go don't just think that it's just because it's a sketch you can take that over into your realistic drawing in order to understand how to construct lines and stuff it's not going to be easy but obviously the more you practice the more you sketch the more you learn you pick up a lot of little little things it's little things that add together and a lot of things that people just look past that will help you in the long run so sketch away like I'm doing here see kind of like that the way I just went da 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 quick created a nice dark tone and to be honest if I didn't sketch all of the years I probably wouldn't have known that I would have been like the kind of one way saying it needs to be dark it needs to be dark but it doesn't look clean you know it doesn't look the way we want it to look So the hair with the drawing, the left side is the dark side. This left side, so left side, bam. Like that. It's a lot of darkness. There, bam. Again, I'm just sketching away everything I see. It may not be 100% accurate, but this is what I see when looking at my drawing. Some of you probably thinking, what is it he's doing? I'm making mistakes and I'm learning. That's what I'm doing. Again, I will be drawing the predator again, but more of a, I'll spend more time on it. Right, this, this is just the best way I believe Maybe some people might disagree, but this is the best way I believe for someone to understand how to use the black open pen and how to master it. It's by doing sketches, understanding that the different levels of toning you can get by just using this tool and then applying it onto your drawing. See, another thing that I do when I'm, one thing that I learned when doing sketching is the higher up you hold your pen, the looser the lines because it looks like you have less control over it so you can't really apply that crazy amount of pressure when you hold your pen this high up and you tilt it to the side that's a tip that I picked up by sketching you know and some might say oh wow that's actually a pretty sick tip but if I didn't sketch I wouldn't have known that I probably would have picked it up obviously when doing realistic drawing after a long long time when sketching and you're doing it every day and it's supposed to be quick you know okay how do I get these different tones quick and fast you understand that you have to lift your pen and lift your hand up higher when holding the pen so it's a good tip there for you guys or the guys that have made it this far some of you might have just clicked up or clicked off already because it's not a video for you you're just here for entertainment which is fine you can be here for entertainment but those that want to learn and pick up tips you are still here and yeah if you do end up sketching this with me I don't know if you are or you're just here to listen but if you do end up sketching this with me make sure to tag me on my Instagram which quite a few of you do I do see them post that you guys tag me in and yeah I always try to like them although when I'm working I'm working I'm in the zone I don't normally I always put my phone and do not disturb so a lot of stuff I don't see during the day when I'm creating like right now my phone is on do not disturb so whoever's trying to contact me mm, good luck then again it is like 8 in the morning so
Also, when I'm sketching, you can be a little bit more rough with your lines. But you can also, like, when I'm doing that, I can understand that with that creating all these layers, that I'm still gonna have a little bit of white. So when I'm doing a realistic drawing now, and I don't want no white, I understand that I have to bring the lines closer together in order to create that least amount of gap there. So that's another little tool tip there for you. It's just understand, like I said, it's just understanding the little things and trying to bring these little things all together in order to create this drawing that you're going for. But yeah, I, I love sketching. I love it so much. I feel like it just helps you so much. And obviously some people disagree, which is fair, but I believe it will help you a lot down the line. And it's something you could take forward with you, you know? It's fun and I just, you just use it as a learning curve, like I do. Just use it as something, a place where you can just you can just do something and just learn from it. Don't take it too seriously. Like I said, art's meant to be fun. And if I am just trying to be serious all the time, yeah, then that's that's no fun. You know? Of course if you want your art to look extremely good, then yeah, sketch. Then after you edit, after you do your sketch, then you can do a little quick realistic drawing and test out some of the things you, you feel like you learned from doing the sketch and then try apply them little things that you have found out when doing the sketch and apply it to your drawing. Again, I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section if you agree or you disagree, but this way right here, a great way to understand the ballpoint pen and how it functions. I feel like sketching is that's what it basically is, is to understand the tool you're using and how it functions. And it's also a great way to understand like proportions and stuff like that, knowing where to put things. And you can also see like your mistakes. And like I've said multiple, like, like I just said previously, like mistakes, you can understand where you went wrong, why you went wrong and critique yourself. Be honest with yourself. I think that that's one thing that most people don't do. They always like to say, okay, my art's really good. I like it, it's amazing. Obviously, most of us don't, we're not really happy with our art most of the time. Let's be honest. A lot of us are like, ah, it's okay, it's fine. Could be better. But yeah, like with that part, you saying it could be better. Why? Why could it be better? Don't be afraid to do that. Like really go deep into depth and critique your work and say, okay, you know what? I feel like here, I could have done this a little bit better. I feel like here, I could have been done a little bit better here. Um, but why? Is it because I made it too dark or I didn't have, I didn't have shadows or things like that? You need to be able to do that as an artist. And a lot of us don't, you know? We don't do that. We're, we always try to create that perfect piece of art. But in order to learn, we have to be able to critique ourselves and a lot of the time when we get constructive criticism in comments we do tend to like, you know, like oh that hurt but it, it only helps to improve you know I don't like getting tips from someone that can't you know what I mean if someone can't draw like you and it's not on your level of art but then they try to criticize your drawing it's like uh, you know what I mean it's a bit like that doesn't really make any sense to me it's like Let's see. I don't want to say no footballer's name, but it's like a amateur footballer. You know, what I mean, that's not even in like, that's not even a professional yet trying to criticize someone like Messi. It's like, mm, I don't think Messi is really gonna take your tips because Messi is Messi. You know, things like that. Ah, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not a big fan of that when someone that's not really good at they don't like they try to critique your work but a lot of the stuff they're saying they don't apply it to their own which is i think that's just being a hypocrite you know you're just there to be a nasty person which doesn't help nobody but yeah critique yourself ask yourself why you don't like it or where you think like you can improve and what not to do next time you do a drawing like that and take it from there man. but yeah I have a ton of sketchbooks which I need to fill up as well. 
I don't sketch as much as I would like to. Again, I'm uploading like every other day. Um, see how long I can keep that up for. But yeah, YouTube's so YouTube's pretty difficult right now because I don't know. I don't know, man. My videos are not getting the views they used to get. Um, but then I love drawing in it. So regardless of the views, and a lot of people probably thinking, wait, what? Yeah, even if I get like a thousand views, there's still a thousand people watching my video. Of course, you have some people that watch it double or maybe more than that. But again, thousand views. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people watching your videos. And yeah, some people would love to have the following that I have. That's, what, that's just the way I think about it. I'm like, okay, some people would love to have the following that I have. But of course, I know I put in a lot of time into it and to not have my videos seen by a lot of people it does it does hurt not gonna lie it does hurt but at the end of the day if you love what you do good things will come with it you know especially if you stick to it actually decide to learn from what you're doing and try to help people which is exactly what I'm trying to do trying to help you guys understand that this inexpensive tool that I'm holding right now that really costs what well, you can buy for like what 50 pens 50 black pens for the price of one like copic marker yeah but yeah just messing around adding different values you know just creating different lines make it look rough look at the oh prejudice is coming through you can see him i know you see him he's coming looking evil Mm. Yep. Well, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Just messing around, sketching away, and yeah, man. I'm I'm thinking of doing like more art challenges now, and just having fun with it. Again, I've got a lot, a lot of art supplies that I haven't even used yet. I've got paint which I haven't used yet, which I need to use in try out. You know. I'm not a big fan of paint, but I feel like it's a medium that is good for practice and I can use it in the future, you know? Well, obviously, I don't want to get paint all over my room, but I've already started using watercolor paints and stuff like that. And I understand that you just need to wipe it and just wipe your table and it will go away. But acrylics, I've actually used acrylics before in high school. I can remember using acrylics in high school and actually having fun with the fun with it. I think I drew like an apple, if I can remember clearly. I drew an apple of with like mixing different colours again. Again, that's just me. That's what I like to do. I like to make a drawing of using all the colours in order to understand the tool that I'm using. So even when I was using acrylics for the first time, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna draw an apple but I'm gonna make it look like multi-coloured, make it look funky. And it came out actually pretty decent for my first time trying acrylic paints. I was pretty stubborn in high school. I was more like, I was that guy that was just like, yeah, I'm sticking to my ballpoint pen. I don't care, this is what I know, this is what I'm using. And obviously a lot of the teachers were like, no, you need to try all these different mediums like graphite and all this stuff. And I was like, eh, that's not for me. This is this is what I want to do. I know, I know myself. I know that this is it. This is it for me. The ballpoint pen, not many people are using it. A lot of people overlook it and they're like, oh, but it's a writing tool. I was like, no, it's not. No, it's not. I used to fight everyone with that. So I know it's not. I'm like, do you see what I'm creating with this pen? Yes, it might be made for writing, you know, but if you can create art with it, why not use it, you know? And that's what I did for a long time. I kept on arguing with my teachers, trying to get me out. They were basically trying to get me out of my comfort zone, which today I understand why they were doing it, you know. It's good to try out different things just to have it just to have that skill level um so i do understand it now <laughs> back then i was a bit more like eh, what are you doing let me do what i do you know but yeah you live and you learn well, yeah hope you guys have learned something from this little sketch tutorials i don't know what we can call this video but i just might just call it like a tip to understand the ballpoint pen as you can see you can see his face and that's all just created by lines just a lot of lines messing around and now let's do some armor and some dark values you 
cubes here. And this is all by literally looking at the drawing, looking at the image that I'm drawing for like five seconds, less than five seconds, and then having to make a decision on where I want the lines to go. So it's, it's a difficult task, but it's not like you can't do it, you know? Gotta take your time to practice this. And like I was saying with the highlights and shadows and stuff, it's a good way to understand that by doing a sketch, you know? Comment below how many times you sketch a week. I would like to know how many times you guys sketch a week. I am behind, but obviously I draw every day, so kind of class that sketching every day, you know, maybe. Um, yeah, with a sketch, you know, you don't know how long a sketch is gonna last. Like me, I wasn't planning for this to last this long, I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking, yeah, I'm gonna sketch for like five, 10 minutes, and that will be it. But here I am, I don't know, I think I'm like 20 minutes in, and I'm still at this drawing, you know? And yeah, I'm gonna try and make it as quick as I can. But you're having fun, you can't rush it, you know, you can't rush funness. Yeah, having fun, enjoying myself, you know? Have fun with the pen, and it's looking pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, this is looking pretty decent for a quick sketch 20 25 minute sketch. I don't even know how long I've been drawing, I'm not gonna lie. But you know, when you're sketching away, it does feel like five minutes, especially if you're having fun with what you're doing. It feels like it's not even a long time, you feel like you've been doing it for a few minutes, just having fun with it. lot of different simple shapes and this is also good as well because you get to understand the way to do different simple shapes um, sorry if you guys are hearing any background noise that's my mum in the kitchen but yeah right now join simple shapes and using the ballpoint pen as well it's another way to understand how to create nice curves and just art, it isn't just to ballpoint pen by the way, this is to all sorts of materials. If you're using pencil and stuff, sketching is still a great way to understand how to use the pencil, you know? And just sketch, make sure you're sketching a lot and draw different things. If it's something like, if you're on a train and you see people on there, of course, be discreet about it, but you can sketch some people, you know, just to understand the way the face works and proportions and stuff um, again I, obviously me I started off by drawing like anime before I even thought about drawing people I used to draw like simple shapes like obviously Dragon Ball Z and stuff it's very it's not simple but it's obviously it's, it's got less less depth shapes compared to something like a realistic face it's mostly like circles, squares, triangles, you know, shapes like that that you have to create. Obviously you have to create a certain way in order to create that Jagger Z face. And I felt like that was a good practice for me at the beginning, just learning how to draw anime. And anime has a lot of like dark shapes, dark values, especially when they go like Super Saiyan. The eyebrows and all that stuff goes really dark. sketch I'm not gonna lie looks pretty dope you know what I'm saying let's zoom in a bit boom boom going going there we go bam and then this whole area is covered up with black so I'm gonna just got the armor on and now I'm just gonna create like armor lines bam stops here this one comes here that little chest he's got, little predator chest, little ab section here. Bam. Kill. 
Yeah, I don't think I have any more tips, you know. I'm trying to think of other tips you can do sketching for in order to improve. Um, to improve your understanding of the black ballpoint pen. I feel like I've given you guys everything. Obviously, I told you guys about the holding of the pen, like holding it higher. It is going to help you when it comes to the light areas. Anyways, I told you that cross hatching is great for open pen in order to cover a lot of area. Cross hatching is probably the best way to go about it. I drop it quickly so it might look like I'm not lifting my pen but don't worry every line I'm doing I am lifting my pen as you can see just drawing the lines in different angles creates the illusion of black again this will show that obviously ballpoint pen does require a lot of patience for you to create a dark tone, you have to do a lot of layering. When sketching, as long as you know that this is what it's gonna take for you to get to the point of understanding the black, then that's fine. As long as, long as you understand that it's gonna take you a couple of layers to get to the tone that you are looking for, then you will be fine. But it's just that finding that understanding and knowing that it's going to take you time but you're willing to learn you know again i think that's the reason why you're probably watching this video because you're willing to learn and you're still here with me i hope you're at least still here with me but yeah it's going to create different tones and understanding the pressure as well the pressure you add means a lot I do believe that sketching is very underrated. Not many people appreciate it for what it is and understand what it can do for you in the long run. It helps you so much and it's a great, great practice. And I know practice doesn't make you perfect, but it does help, you know? It does help you with understanding the tool that you're trying to understand or trying to learn. By practicing it, using it a lot, will help you, like I said, in the long run of trying to understand that tool. So this whole section's a bit dark up in here. So I know we need to create them layers. Yeah. I like this drawing looks pretty sick, you know, for, for that, that quickie sketch sketch. I'm liking the way it's turning out. Lines a bit darker down here. Let me put it line up. There, there. I might call it that, you know. I might just call it a wrap here. End the video here. And yeah, man, this could see pretty nice. I like it. Of course, I could add with more darker values. Some like some areas, you can add more darker tone by just overlapping lines a bit further. But all in all, really happy with the way this drawing has turned out. And yeah, hope you guys have learned something from this little tips tutorial type video, sketching video. It almost feels like a little sketch Sunday that I used to do back in the day. But yeah. Happy with the sketch of Predator. As you can see, proportions not 100%, but they're pretty decent. And obviously, I've been doing it for some time, so my proportions have become better of understanding where things line up. But when drawing, you do do a lot of this. Like, okay, line this up, blah, 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 blah. And you will get better at the more you do it. The more you do it, the better you will get at it. And yeah, like I said, just keep practicing, guys and have fun with it man enjoy it enjoy the process enjoy the learning process of drawing in general not just ballpoint pen 
and yeah i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video you boy okay let me stop now i'm guy i'm getting a bit carried away now so much fun just creating different lines and uh, stop we ruined the drawing okay let's just sign this off ba -ba -ba -ba. let's give it in there. there we go bam there we go love it so that's my video for today i hope you guys found it really helpful i picked up a few things when i was talking i was kind of mumbling along the way but yeah as you saw we drew predator and that wasn't planned i just flicking through the images and i was like you know what i feel like sketching predator today and talking so that's what i did um and yeah man i really hope you guys really found this helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps the channel and share it share it everywhere and um, that also helps and what else was I going to say? Hmm. Yeah, man. Get sketching. Get sketching. And it's a great practice. And it really does work. And really does help. Uh, especially when you learn from your sketches. And yeah, I just hope the video wasn't too long for you guys to watch. Um, thank you to the guys that actually stayed through to the end. And yeah, if you want to see any real-time tutorials, um, that is available for you guys to watch on my Patreon account, which is linked in the description. So head over there for some real-time tutorial videos. And yeah, that's it for me, man. I'm out. Catch you in the next video. Peace!